Hey learners, welcome back to my channel, Tegron Learning Hub. Before going into our today's topic, if you find my videos helpful, please like, share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot and helps the channel to grow. So now, without any delay, let's dive into our today's topic. Yeah, as you've seen in our thumbnail, we are going to discuss about Python technology stack in this video. We are going to discuss answers of this Python technology stack. Let me open this. And here there are few certifications and courses, right? Here in this video, I'm not going to answer for the certification. Because um, Infosys bring both certification work as a big question back matter. Like it stores the pile of questions, like hundreds of thousands of questions in its database. And for a certification exam, we will get a bunch of it. That's it. Means I will get a random pile of questions. You might get a random pile of questions. So I am not going to do Python certification. Uh, answers in this video so now let us discuss all other uh, course assignments answers in this video so let me start uh, with the py uh, programming fundamentals using python and let me click on start button. I, am, I am directly diving into the assignment please don't do that you go through all these things after that you go to the final assessment over here okay this video is made only for assessment uh, clarification, not for any loopholes. Okay, fine. Let me start my exam. Yeah, guys, I need to share an important uh, thing with you that I couldn't able to do answers of Angular because there are lots and lots of work on my head so that I am couldn't able to adjust my time accordingly so please excuse me and forgive me on this aspect please uh, still if you need an angular if i get 10 to 20 comments like angular angular i will really try to make a video and i checked the angular syllabus also it is really very heavy to answer all those uh, questions and in that pile up of questions there are uh, many many things like coding or something like i couldn't able to answer all those things so really i'm sorry for angular uh, register members i couldn't able to do angular course but you are being asking in the comments one or two comments are coming me regularly so really sorry guys i couldn't do that so i think you forgive me so now let us go into the answers of this python first answer is none guys one important thing remember that um, my questions and your questions wouldn't be same means the questions would be in jumbled order for you so please remember that in your mind and answer all these things perfectly so now first answer is zero none second one b and c only three 2.0 option c within the second block neither multiple of 5 nor multiple of 10 goodbye option b only code 1 hello without a question mark c option c Report is equals to report of index 1 plus marks 5 colon. Option C. Option C. Option B. Option A. 3. Option A. Count is 2. Mac and Mill went up to the hill. So we completed all the questions. Let me click on my progress to next section and finish test. Yes. 
for completing a C in my marks. So yeah, guys, this is very, really, very great marks. We just got two marks less on this exam, so you can happily write and clear this assessment. So now let us uh, see our next uh, course. So we have completed this and uh, our next in Python technology stack would be programming fundamentals using Python part 2. This is the extended video of last part. Okay, I mean like extended course of last part. I'm sorry for the pronunciation. So yeah guys, now let me write all the answers by clicking assignment, final assessment over here. In this assessment, we would be having 12 questions. Okay, now let us write this assessment. And so for the first question is function of 9 and function of 10. A list which is pile up of 5 comma 2, 3 comma 4, 1 comma 2, 6 comma 7. 1 and 3. Calculate of 10, 55. Calculate of 27, 47. My list is equals to 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, 21. Where 1 is equals to 2. And my list is equals to 13, 17, 23, 27, 33, 37. Where 1 is equals to 7. Option C, if V of line 3, comma line 4, comma line 5, 20, 50, 10, 50, 4, option C, 1, 4, 5, Z, D, F, I, C, A. 100, none, 10, 20, 1, 10. Yeah, we completed. So now let's uh, check our marks by clicking on the finish test. So yeah, we got 9 out of 12. Just 3 marks are gone. You can absolutely write this because this is the toughest exam because all the codes are there, right? So you can happily write this. If you are very confident with the particular answer, completely fine to answer that. But make sure that you are giving your 100% and you are getting your 100%. Okay, don't miss anything on that. So our uh, next course is Object Oriented Programming using Python. Yeah, let us start this and uh, assessment on this let me check if it's bigger or small yeah 15 questions absolutely fine assignment okay let us come up with answer answer for the first one at the line one add super implement the method two must be provided in class b this is really one of my toughest exam I have ever written in Python because I don't know its concepts in Python. So really it has taken a bit tough as for my moment. I have even searched in every web where I can. So please don't mind me if I got less marks. Okay. Add constructor with statement super dot in it in child class. 1a, 2c, 3a. Derived object, base object, base object. Derived object, derived object, base object. Neither one is true. I mean like only one is true. The class person has three instance variables, one local variable and one static variable. Option B. Suggestion from Tom and Olive combined will result an optimal solution. Error finally out of division method. Only 
one counter colon minus three four hundred replace line two with so on amount with brackets is correct option a code will not compile due to error in get value method so let us see our marks by clicking on finish test okay it's absolutely fine to get 10 out of i mean 15 out of 10 if you are not satisfied oh my god we have a review of our attempt yeah i didn't see this if you want uh, here i am displaying what are my wrongs this is my wrong if you want you can correct this and yeah and this is also my wrong consider by the code below and this is also a wrong and uh, yeah almost yeah and yeah this is also a wrong you can correct this and yeah this question is also a wrong this is not minus 3 and yeah that's all apart from this every question is correct from my side or my end so yeah guys now let us try to answer our next uh, assessment so yeah i'm not going to answer database management part one and part two because this uh, grabbed my entire uh, time when i'm writing in java technology stack and even i did it faster in the next exam so guys i am leaving burden on you for this time really sorry for that i couldn't able to answer dbms part one and part two and here we have introduction to sql right so uh yeah uh, here we have introduction to new sql databases this uh, complete uh, answers we have in java technology stack video i will drop the link in the description below you can check that and this software engineering also we have in java technology stack so in this video i'm not going to give answers because it would be double time for me so please uh, make your time for me go to description and click on that link to see and solve the answers for no sql databases and software engineering here and this time management email writing high impact presentation and this algae scrum practice all these uh, four time management email writing high impact presentations and this practice all these four you can find in the data visualization part if you want to write answers for this particular uh, courses please go uh, the link which is in the description and please write the exam don't uh, avoid all these things because these uh, courses and certifications are crucial for your selection process so please guys make your time for me just five minutes of time go to the description and click uh, on the data visualization part two and go there and you could find just second or third course i am uh, answering this time management email writing high impact presentations and always from practices okay and yeah this basics of python also i have answered in the artificial intelligence okay i couldn't remember part one or part two please uh, check uh, part one or part two and write that basics of python also so that's all for this video guys uh, hope you like this video as per your uh, poll i have answered all the things in python so if you have any doubt regarding this python and if you need any guidance in this please comment below i will be really happy to answer all of your comments i will not miss even a single comment without answering so yeah, that's all for this video. See you in the video soon. Bye-bye.